الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهدي الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو الحي الذي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح للأمة وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يضيع عنها إلا هالك وصلوات ربي عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعلنا منهم واجعلنا معهم يا رحم الراحمين يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون Or you who believe be conscious of Allah like he deserves for you to be conscious of him and I not accept upon Islam a state of consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu adkhulu fi silm kafah wa la tattabi'u khutuwati shaytan innahu lakum adu wa mubin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, enter Islam completely, enter into Islam in completion, and do not follow the footsteps of shaytan, for verily he is for you a clear enemy. Dear brothers and sisters, our topic is around entering Islam completely, embracing Islam completely. We're always happy when we have new brothers and sisters that enter into Islam. And we find them so eager to pick up the smallest things and the biggest things. I had a brother that just even wants to even change his name just because he thought that was necessary. Willing to change his name for his entire life. And I told him, brother, it's not necessary if you don't if it is not a name that contradicts Islamic principles. But looking at the sacrifice they're willing to make to accept Islam completely with all that it says, with all that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs us to do. And the problem that we have in our community and in many communities around the world, in our Muslim community, is that there is a tendency on one side to just pick and choose what we want on this side. We want inspiration. We want that which makes us feel better. And that is a part of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us with hardship comes ease. We want that. And some of us just go to Islam, open the book just for these beautiful reminders that we all need. But anything else? Uh, instructions on how to properly fulfill your duties, how to properly pray, how to properly give sadaqah, how to properly fast, all that, brother, it's all about what's in the heart. A group that has made Islam all about character and all about spirituality. And then we have no doubt, a group that has made Islam completely about instructions, completely on how to dress properly, completely on how to give your zakah and have devoid Islam, have made it devoid of any aspects of the heart. Their hearts are hard. Their hearts have, be have become void of any spirituality, have made the entire deen devoid of any spirituality, have made the entire deen devoid of any heart. It's all about the prayer and making it perfect and no doubt that is important. It's all about the sadaqah, it's all about making your looks very important in terms of dressing and that we are modest. But yes, those are also important, but the heart is also important. And so dear brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us enter Islam completely, it is not just for you to ignore one part and for you and I to just take another, that we enter Islam, all of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُنَا آمَنَّا بِهِ كُلُّ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا Those who have knowledge, those who are immersed in knowledge, what is their, what is their motto, what is their slogan? We believe in all of it. It is all from our Lord. And if it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it can only be complete. And it can only be all of it sound. And all of it is perfect. And so for you and I, is that yes, we come to Islam for instructions. We come, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We come ready to accept. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says one way, go that way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, stay away from this way. You stay away. And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help, and yes, we're not perfect. 
But at the same time, we come accepting. We come ready to embrace every bit of this deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to soften our hearts. Soften your heart. We accept that as well. We accept all of it. Good character is important. Yes. But also making sure that our prayers, that we pray properly, that we are making wudu properly. A lot of times you tell a brother or a sister, brother, this has to be done this way. Or this needs to be modified very politely, very nicely. That your wudu, yes, very up to the elbow. From your hands up to your elbow and then a reply is, brother, it's not about these specific details. It's about what's in the heart. And yes, what's in the heart is important. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you, this is your instruction, this is your manual. Do it properly. It's simple, dear brothers and sisters. The Prophet ﷺ gives us a beautiful hadith. He passes by a grave. And he said, إِنَّهُمَا لَيُعَذَّبَانَ Barely these two, two people in the grave, they are being punished. They are being punished. And they asked the Prophet ﷺ for what? They are being punished, but they are not, but they are not being punished for something huge. They were not mushrikeen, they did not commit shirk. They did not, not just pray at all, they prayed. They did not just ignore a whole pillar of Islam, they still maintained their Islam. But they're, it is not that significant. But it is significant in the sight of Allah. And what is that? فَأَمَّا وَاحِدٌ مِّنْهُمْ فَكَانَ يَمْشِي بَيْنَ النَّاسَ بِالنَّمِيمَةِ One of them used to walk upon people with gossip. Terrible character. So a matter of the heart. A matter of character. And then the other one. فَأَمَّا الثَّانِي فَكَانَ لَا يَسْتَتِرْ مِنَ الْبَوْلِ A matter of character and a matter of instruction. Maintaining your wudu properly. And on the one hand, oh, it's just, they deserve it. You say, you say something about someone who does not deserve that slander, who does not deserve that gossip, and you belittle it. And so what? Being punished in the grave. The same punishment that someone who does not protect themselves from the urine as they urinate properly in the bathroom. Two very important aspects. And we have one side of us it's not a big deal. And then another side of us will say the other part is not a big deal. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, it's all important, dear brothers and sisters, who, who, are, who am I and you to just come and neglect? But our approach, yes, we're not perfect, but our approach is, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Oh Allah, we hear and we obey. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ قَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا وَانْظُرْنَا لَكَانَ خَيْرًا لَهُمْ وَأَقْوَمْ And if they only had said, we hear and we obey, and be, just allow us to have some time to accept and learn and, and improve ourselves. That would have been better for them. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. That is our approach. That is our attitude. Dear brothers and sisters, as, as believers, our first and utmost goal, our top priority in this life is to earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rida Allah. The one that Prophet Moses said, وَعَجِلْتُ إِلَيْكَ رَبِّ لِتَرْضَى That's our most important concern. That is our top priority. Whether it's at work, at home, that is our priority. It doesn't change. Our priority, whether you're playing with your kids, whether you're out and about in the masjid with your brothers and sisters, our priority is to please Allah. And if, it's, if that is our priority, then our lesson is to accept everything and we come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rushing with whatever small, whatever big. If it's a matter of the heart, if it's a matter of prayer, if it's a matter of a ruqn from the deen that you do it all properly, do it with ihsan. The Prophet sallallahu says, don't belittle anything. You think a smile is nothing? Smile in the face of your brother. As the Prophet tells us, shows us that simple deeds, simple deeds were the ones that earned some of our pious predecessors Jannah. Simple deeds. 
a, ma- a woman who, who, who had a terrible past, she simply gives water to a dog who is dying of thirst. Simple deeds, brothers and sisters. And then another who simply shuts down a cat and does not let it go or feed her. Simple deeds, dear brothers and sisters, that earns her the hellfire. So you don't ever belittle something and say, this is, it's, not a, it's not a big deal. Our, our, our deen is complete. And we accept, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اِسْتَجِيبُوا لِلَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ إِذَا دَعَاكُمْ لِمَا يَحْيِيكُمْ Accept the call of Allah and His Messenger as He calls you to that which gives you life. Every part of it gives you life. This prayer that you do gives you life. That work that you go out right now, you go back to work and you put bread on the table, you earn a halal income for your family, that gives you life. That is your deen completely. And we accept it all. And we accept it because it is a complete way of life from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم آتي نفوسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكاها اللهم اغفر لنا والوالدين ولكل من له حق علينا اللهم كن لإخواننا المستضعفين المظلومين في كل مكان اللهم صل وسلم على حبيبنا نبينا محمد عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وإنهاء الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه